Hey guys, it's Alicia, and today I'm gonna to show you how to fix the Your Connection Is Not Private error. Sometimes you might not even know where to begin if you're seeing a Your Connection Is Not Private error. In this video, we want to help you not be overwhelmed by this error by walking you through some ways to get things working again. Before we get too far, of course, I want to let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. All right, now let's get this Your Connection Is Not Private error fixed. Here are some recommendations and things to check to fix the error based on the common reasons we see here at Kinsta. This might seem a little obvious for some, but one of the easiest and first things you should try when encountering a Your Connection Is Not Private error is to simply close and reopen your browser and try loading the page again. It could be that the website owner is currently reissuing their SSL certificate or something was out of whack in your browser. Your second option is to simply manually proceed. However, we don't ever recommend doing this unless you fully understand that nothing will be encrypted if you proceed. We only include this option so we can explain the full ramifications of doing this. Seeing this error could very well mean that someone's trying to fool you or steal any info you send to the server, and you should typically close the site immediately. It is also possible that the website has been compromised and there is a malicious redirection. If you're in a public space, never try to bypass this screen. If you still want to proceed, there's usually a proceed to domain.com link you can click at the bottom of the error screen. Depending on the browser, this is something hidden under the advanced option. Take note, if the website is using HSTS, this option won't be available as it means that you have implemented an HTTP header which never allows non-HTTPS connections. This might sound odd, but cafes and airport Wi-Fi networks tend to be one of the most popular places that users see the Your Connection Is Not Private error. This usually pertains to the portal screen where you need to accept the terms and agreement to sign in. If you're trying to connect to an HTTPS or secure site before accepting the portal's terms, this error could pop up. Here are some easy steps to get around it. First, connect to the cafe or airport's Wi-Fi. Then browse to a non-HTTPS site such as this one. The sign-in page should then open. You can accept the terms and then log in. Due to the fact that the terms are usually just consisting of a checkbox, you shouldn't be too concerned if it's running over HTTPS. Once connected, you can then browse to sites over HTTPS. Remember, whenever you're using public Wi-Fi, a VPN could help protect you even further by hiding your traffic. Another very common reason that you might see the Your Connection Is Not Private error is that your computer's clock is messed up. Browsers rely on these to be correctly synced up to verify the SSL certificate. Right-click the time in the bottom right-hand task tray. Select Adjust Date Time. Select Set Time Automatically and optionally Set Time Zone Automatically. This will update according to one of Microsoft's NTP servers. Double check the time in the bottom right hand task tray to make sure it's correct. If not, you can click on the Change button to manually select a time zone. Close your browser and reopen it. Then try revisiting the website. From the Apple menu, click on System Preferences. Click the date and time icon. If the padlock appears at the bottom of the window, you might need to click it and enter your administrator username and password. Now select set date and time automatically. This will update according to one of Apple's NTP servers. Select the time zone tab. If it doesn't determine your location automatically, simply uncheck it so you can manually set it. On the map, select your time zone region and city. Close your browser and reopen it. Then revisit the website. Our next recommendation would usually be to clear your browser's cache. However, that's easier said than done for a lot of us. If you wanna check if it might be your browser cache without clearing your cache, you can always open your browser in incognito mode or test another browser and see if you still see the your connection is not private error. Don't rule out Chrome extensions either, but this will help you test that. In Mozilla Firefox, incognito mode is referred to as new private window. 
In Microsoft Edge, it's referred to as a new in-private window. If you think it might be your browser, clearing your browser cache is always a good troubleshooting step before diving into more in-depth troubleshooting. We've included browser-specific instructions in the description below. Clearing the SSL state in Chrome is often overlooked, but can come in very handy and is easy to try. Just like clearing your browser's cache, this can help if things get out of sync. To clear the SSL state in Chrome on Windows, follow these steps. Click the Google Chrome settings icon and then click settings. Click show advanced settings. Under network, click change proxy settings. The internet properties dialog box appears. Click the content tab, then click clear SSL state and then click OK. Now restart Chrome. If you're on a Mac, follow the instructions linked in the description below. The next thing you can try is changing your DNS servers. We've actually seen this error happen before when using Google's public DNS or Cloudflare's DNS. Removing this and defaulting back to your ISP's DNS servers can sometimes fix DNS errors. Google and Cloudflare aren't perfect 100% of the time and issues occur now and then. To do this on Windows, go to your network connection properties and make sure Obtain DNS Server Address Automatically is selected. If you've added Google's public DNS or Cloudflare's DNS to your router, you might also have to remove it from there. Sometimes VPNs and antivirus software can conflict or override your network settings, including blocking certain SSL certificates or connections. If you have any running, try temporarily disabling them or turning off their SSL scan feature to see if it resolves the Your Connection Is Not Private error in Chrome. SSL certificates expiring without the website owner's knowledge happens all the time. In fact, a lot more than you might think. Typically, this happens due to the following reasons. The website owner doesn't have auto renew enabled with the domain registrar or SSL certificate provider. Auto renew is enabled, but payment fails because the user has forgotten to update their payment method. Users typically change credit cards more frequently than they access their domain registrar's dashboard throughout the year. The website owner uses a free Let's Encrypt certificate, which expires every 90 days, and they don't have a script in place to renew it, or they forgot. At Kinsta, we've automated this process so you never have to worry about your free SSL certificates expiring. This results in an accompanying error code. You can easily check a certificate's expiration date by opening up Chrome DevTools while you're on the site. Click on the Security tab and click on View Certificate the valid from dates will show in the certificate information. Another quick and easy way to access a site's SSL certificate information in Chrome is to click on the padlock in the address bar. Then click on Certificate. Each certificate has what they call the subject alternative name. This includes all the domain name variations for which the certificate is issued to and valid for. It's important to note that www and non-www domains are treated as two separate domains. If you're seeing an accompanying error code such as this, it could be that a certificate is not registered properly on both variations of the domain. This is less common nowadays as sites usually have HTTPS redirects in place. At Kinsta, you can generate your free HTTPS certificate for both www and non-www. This could also happen if you just changed domain names. SHA-1 is a cryptographic hash algorithm once commonly used by SSL certificates on the web. SHA-1, though, has shown signs of weaknesses and therefore is no longer supported in any current browser. If a website is still using a certificate with this old algorithm, the Your Connection Is Not Private error will appear. Most certificates now use SHA-256 hash algorithms. This can be found under the Details tab when inspecting a certificate on a website. Back in January 2017, the public was made aware of some bad practices on Symantec's part when it comes to how they issued certificates. Because of this, browsers decided to no longer support certificates issued by Symantec. If a website is still using a certificate issued by them, the Your Connection Is Not Private error might appear. Using a Symantec certificate can result in this accompanying error code. If you're not sure if 
everything is set up correctly on your website or someone else's, you can always run an SSL server test. We recommend using the free SSL check tool from Qualys SSL Labs. It's very reliable and we use it for all Kinsta clients when verifying certificates. Simply head over to their SSL check tool, input your domain into the hostname field, and click on Submit. You can also select the option to hide public results if you prefer. The scan might take a minute or two, but it will show you all the fine details regarding a site's SSL or TLS configuration. Check out our in-depth tutorial on a couple things to check for when running an SSL test. Older operating systems fall out of date with newer technologies such as TLS 1.3 and the latest Cypher suites as browsers stop supporting them. Specific components in the latest SSL certs will simply stop working. Google Chrome, in fact, pulled the plug on Windows XP back in 2015. We always recommend upgrading the newer operating system if possible, such as Windows 10 or the latest version of Mac OS 10. Make sure your device is up to date on Windows, Mac, or another operating system. We know it's annoying, but it has to be mentioned. If none of the other options work, try restarting your computer and even your router. We realize many of you probably have hundreds of tabs or applications open, and that's why we made this one of the last options. But rebooting devices actually clears out a lot of temporary cache and hiccups. Still seeing the your connection is not private error? Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help. If you see this on your own WordPress site, feel free to open up a ticket with our Kinsta support team. We can help you determine why this might be happening and if it is indeed an issue on your website itself. The Google Chrome help forums can also be especially helpful. You can guarantee these are users that have already experienced the same error or bug and are ready to help. You can also disable Chrome checking SSL certificates. However, we can't stress enough this is only meant for testing and development purposes. Don't ever use the following options unless you know exactly what you're doing. If you're testing locally, you might be able to use the Chrome flag to simply allow insecure connections from local host. In Chrome, browse to the following link. Search for insecure and you should see the option to allow invalid certificates for resources loaded from local host. Enable that option and restart your browser. You can tell Chrome to ignore all SSL certificate errors by passing the following at the command line at launch. If you're on Windows, simply right click into the properties of the launcher, then add this command to the target field, then restart Chrome. An unsecured website puts your customers and reputation at risk. With Kinsta's Cloudflare integration, all the security features you need are built right into your plan at no additional cost. That's a monthly savings of around $200 per site. Learn more about these benefits, including DDoS protection, a more secure firewall, and more at kinsta.com forward slash Cloudflare dash integration. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.